Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer. Today I'd like to show you how to apply appearances in SolidWorks Composer. So in this instance you see I've imported my model but all the actors come in as this gray color and I want to go in and change that so we can do that quick and easy by just coming in clicking on our actors. We have a property called color and we can just click on it and change that color. So you can see that just changed to red or we can use our little bar here and drag around and find a good color that we want. And that's one thing that can be really quick and easy if you just want a different color applied. Now we're going to come look at a different view. Um, this one here is going to display a problem that might happen occasionally. So um, if we do the same thing here on this frame, select it and change our color to the red, can see that's not changing and that's happening because of an appearance that is applied to the top level actor. Here you can see from the composer help files how colors are applied at different levels of your project. You can apply the colors at the top level or at a different level. So over here on the right this is what we're encountering right now. There's a color applied to the top level assembly and because of that it overrides whatever color you define and it still stays that top level color. So let's take a look at that here. I'm going to turn my assembly selection on and you can see there is a color, this gray color applied at the top level of our project. So if I come in and set that to undefined you can see my assembly frame does now in fact change to that red color. So that's one thing that you might encounter problems with. It sometimes also happens if you do not merge actors when you import. Okay, now we're gonna look at a different way to apply an appearance, and this is by using a texture. So instead of just coming in and selecting and, and changing the color, we're actually gonna use a texture here. And that's going to allow us to apply an image file that will create um, an image. So if I click this enable button, it just turns on our default composer image. So I'm going to click on that browse button to change that. And I'm going to browse to just a wood image that I've just created here. And you can see as soon as I do that, my actors get this little wood color with a little graining on them. That's something that's really nice to help your composer actors look more realistic. This has been Tyler Young, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.